Four days had passed, and the Saiyan was in good condition, and had even increased his fighting power. He now had SSJ Blue, which he could control at 50% within his abilities. At home, Goku's eldest son was eating with his younger brother, Gotten, and their mother, Chi Chi. She was upset with Goku, as he was always training and not working as she wanted. Chi Chi had even considered the idea of separating from him, as she no longer felt the same as she had when they first fell in love. Chi Chi was washing dishes while Gotten and Goku talked in the dining room, comma, reminiscing about Goku's adventures as a child. Chi Chi put the dishes away and dried her hands. Goku, we need to talk about something, she said, catching his attention. Goku asked Gotten to go to his room, as he needed to speak with his mother. The young Saiyan obeyed, leaving the two adults alone. Goku looked at Chi Chi, confused. What is it you want to talk about? He asked curiously, resting his hand on his chin. Chi Chi stood in front of him. It's about us, Goku, she said seriously. Sensing the seriousness in her tone, Goku straightened up and asked what was wrong. Chi Chi took a deep breath and spoke her mind. Goku, I hope you understand. I want to separate from you, she said. You're not a good husband, you hardly spend time with your family, let alone me, your wife. For years, I've tried to love you as you are, but it's been hard seeing you only train and ignore your responsibilities here. You don't contribute financially and you didn't help with Gotten's education, that's why I want to separate from you. Goku, Goku looked at her, surprised and confused, not fully understanding what she meant. Separate? What do you mean, Chi Chi? He asked, still baffled. Chi Chi took his hands in hers. Goku, what I'm saying is that we're not going to live together like we used to. I'm leaving, and I'm taking Gotten with me. I won't stop you from seeing him. He's your son, after all. But I can't stay here anymore. Goku's expression softened. Chi Chi. I'm sorry if I wasn't a good husband or father. I only wanted to protect you and keep you safe. I'm not very good at this love thing, but I did care for you as a friend like Bulma. I'll make sure Gotten has everything he needs from now on. Chi Chi was surprised by his sincerity. She hugged him, and he returned the hug, both sharing a moment of understanding. Later, Chi Chi, determined in her decision, finalized the divorce papers with everything signed by the judge and documented by her lawyer. Goku signed without resistance and they shared another hug before Chi Chi left with Gotten that day, with suitcases and a waiting taxi. The next day, Goku was at Capsule Corporation, eager to start the tournament, thrilled by the playful rivalry between the gods of destruction, Beerus and Jampa. Tisk, stop acting like a fool Vegeta, the Saiyan prince, grumbled at seeing Goku's excitement. Goku stretched with a grin. Oh, come on Vegeta, don't be so harsh. I'm excited to meet strong fighters. Bulma appeared noticing the hole Goku had made in the floor while warming up. Goku, stop, look at what you've done, she scolded, hands on her hips. Goku stopped immediately, apologizing and trying to contain his enthusiasm. Just then, a flash of light appeared, revealing Beerus, the god of destruction, and his attendant Whis. In his excitement, Goku was immediately by Whis's side, holding his shoulder, ready to leave for the tournament. The others watched, anime-style sweat drops forming at his enthusiastic display. Whis tapped the floor twice with his staff, summoning a transport platform. Soon, all of Goku's friends arrived, and they departed for the planet where the mini-tournament would be held. Everything unfolded as it had in the original story, but this time when Goku lost to Frost, Chi-Chi was there, offering him support instead of calling his name repeatedly. She calmly approached him, asking, are you okay? In a serious tone, Goku nodded, and she returned to watch the rest of the fights. Goku then faced Hit, using SSJ Blue with Kaoken X 10 inches to counter Hit's time skip ability and launch a powerful counterattack. Despite his improved control, Goku found it challenging to match a fully powered Hit. Still, he pushed himself to his limits, managing a hard earned victory. Throughout the tournament, an angel among the spectators found herself unexpectedly worried for Goku. Although she was supposed to maintain a neutral stance, she couldn't help but feel relieved when he succeeded. When Goku fought Hit, the angel was especially concerned, watching his every move, but as she observed his strategy unfold, she realized he was carefully analyzing each of Hit's attacks to counter them more precisely. She was relieved and, oddly, felt happy for Goku's success. As the events proceeded, Zeno, the supreme ruler, made an unexpected appearance. Goku, in his typical fashion, greeted Zeno with friendliness, causing some concern for those around him. However, Zeno responded positively, and they formed a friendly bond. Time skip. After the tournament, the Z fighters returned home to rest after the intense day. Goku, 
exhausted from his battles, especially with Hit, lay down on his bed, falling deeply asleep, recovering his strength for the day ahead.